Hey guys, Mark the Mentor here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna give you all the secrets on renting a box truck for your box truck business. Now, I know there's some courses out there that people are trying to sell about uh, rental truck courses and how to rent a box truck course and all that stuff. And I'm gonna tell you now, it's not that it's not that difficult. Renting a box truck is not that difficult. Yeah, you can get taken advantage of. Yes, there's some secrets and some lingo you might want to use when you're going in for the first time. But I'm going to break all that down to you now in this video. So stay tuned and get your notes ready. True story, new story, two story, condo, B and B, four bath, one me, no key, like I did a B and E. B and me, so good, so hood, so not worried. So the first thing I want to talk about is rental account managers, right? There's no such thing as a rental account manager that is more special than the other. A rental account manager is a rental account manager, all right? Don't get thrown off from the title manager. Doesn't mean they're a boss or anything of that nature. It means they manage an account. So if you go into Enterprise to rent a box truck for your box truck business, say you own ABC Trucking Logistics, right? And you go in there and Julie is at the counter. And Julie happens to be my Enterprise rep when we use Enterprise. So I'm going to use her name. You, you meet Julie and you rent a box truck for your, for your business from Julie. She then becomes your rental account manager. Why? Because she took your sale. She, she sold you the box truck rental, right? So she's going to be the one that's going to charge you once a week. She's going to be the one that's going to call you and say, hey, Mr. ABC Trucking, how's the box truck uh, going that we rented you? rented you? Do you need another box truck? If you rent another box truck, we'll give you a better rate. If the box truck breaks down, Julie's going to be the person that you call and say, hey, Julie, my box truck bro broke down. And she's going to say, OK, we'll send a truck to come pick that one up. When can you come in to get a replacement? She's managing your account. Not only is she managing your account, she's managing everybody's account that she signed up. Therefore, she's a rental account manager. I mean, pretty much everyone that works in Enterprise or Penske from the point of customer, you know, communication customer relations is a rental account manager they manage accounts so don't get thrown off um with the, the manager thing it doesn't mean that they can do something more for you or less for you than somebody else can right they're just managing your account that's it that's all all right so now that we got that out the way one of the first common mistakes a new person that's new into the trucking game, new into the final mile game or the middle mile dot to dot game that's going to one of these companies to rent a, a 26 foot box truck with a lift gate, whether it be budget, whether it be enterprise, whether it be uh, Penske, whether it be Ryder. The first thing you need to know when you go into these places or when you call these places, because sometimes they're not going to tell you, is you say, hey, I want to rent a 26 foot box truck. You must tell them that you're renting it for commercial commercial use, right? If you don't tell them that you're renting it for commercial use, they may try to stick you with a household rental rate, right? Now, Ryder doesn't really do household rentals, and everyone knows that U-Haul is the household rental king. Put, put U-Haul out the equation. Penske does commercial and household rentals. Enterprise does commercial and household rentals. And they have different tier pricing, right? So if you don't specify that you're looking for a commercial rental, it may try to stick you with a household rental. So you must be specific when you call or you go in and say, hey, I need a quote for a 26 foot box truck for a commercial rental. Make sure you specify that. Okay, so another common mistake that a new box truck owner operator makes when they go in is they act like a new owner operator, right? And the rental account managers, they 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 sense that and, and they feel that. The first question they're gonna ask you, and anybody that has been in the box truck game and has rented trucks, they can attest to this. The first one of the first questions they're gonna ask you when you go in or you or you call and you inquire about renting a truck, they're gonna ask you, well, how long are you gonna keep it for? How long are you gonna keep it for? And how you answer this question 
is going to determine one, if you're going to get a truck right away, because right now in some markets, I hear there's a waiting list, right? Two, what rates you're going to get, right? And three, how they're going to treat you, right? Because if you go in there and you say, oh, well, you know, I'm new and I don't know. I hope everything works out for you, right? And then a guy like me who has 13, 14 years history with these people come in or call in right after you and say, I need a truck. And we going for that same truck. They only got one. Man, Mark, how long are you going to keep it for? Mark's known for keeping a truck. Man, you know what? It's uh, it's May. I'm going to keep it for the whole summer. I'm just going to park it and use this as my spare truck in case any truck go, breaks down because it's the busy season. So I'm just going to take this truck and just park it, and we're just going to use this as a spare. So about five months, it's okay. Yeah, we'll probably return it in November. Who do you think they're going to get a truck to? So you're new. You don't have a rapport with them. You don't have a history with them. So you can't go in there like the new person on the block. Now, you're going to sign a contract, but it's not a contract that's binding that you keep it. So if they say, hey, how long are you going to keep the truck? Oh, five, six months. You know, probably long term. Oh, you don't even have to say that. You're like, man, I'm just going to keep it, man. I'm, I'm rolling. I'm just going to keep it, man. As long as it, it till they give out. Till they give out. Because at the end of the day, these rental account managers, they get incentives. You know, they get incentives. You know, each time they charge you, that's a residual charge. They get incentives for that. You know, enterprise, budget, Penske, these are big corporations. And these 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 account managers, these account managers are fighting for bonuses, right? And whatever other perks and incentives these companies are giving them for bringing new um, people in, signing people up, and keeping them in rentals. You know, their numbers, it's a numbers game, right? It's a numbers game. So you don't want to let them know that you're a newbie because they don't want to rent a person who, a truck who's only going to keep it for a few days or a week or is uncertain. They want to deal with those guys that they know, man, he coming to pick this truck up, man. We know he's going to keep it five months or we know he's going to keep it at least a month. Those are the people they're going to break their neck for and go find trucks and source trucks and get those trucks too. So don't make the rookie mistake. Don't go in there, uh, uh, go in there with confidence and when they ask you, how long are you going to keep the truck for? I'm going to keep the truck as long as it's, it starts up and it's rolling. I'm going to make money from this truck. That's what they want to hear because they want to charge your car every Friday or every Thursday or however your contract is set up because every time they charge your car, they're getting paid too. All right, so now let's talk about rates. Now, this, this can get kind of tricky, right? The whole thing with rates is based on relationships with your rental account manager, right? The longer you rent, the more frequent you rent, the more often you rent, you're dealing with the same account manager. My long-term account manager at Penske is a guy by the name of Brian. My long-term rental account manager with Enterprise is a young lady by the name of Julie, right? Um, when Julie moved from the location enterprise that was closest to our location, she moved further away. I, we went further away to get the truck because that's who I had the relationship with. That's who I know had my best interest, right? Right. So coming in the gate, you're not going to get the best rate. But I'm going to tell you something. These are the rates you should be looking for. We're going to speak on um, right now. Right now. You don't want to be paying any more than on the high end, 650. That's on the high end, right? On the low end, you kind of want to be around, and, and this is for a guy who's been in the game for a while. Been in the game for a while. Low end, you might get four, 450 a week on a 26 foot box truck. Mileage, new guy, right now, you're paying about 25 cent a mile, right? You don't want to pay more than that. On the low end, about 20 cent, 22 cent, 18 cent. I've got them as low as 10, 15 cent. But I'm gonna tell you a secret there too. If you're going to rent a truck right now in July, you're gonna be on the higher end, especially if you're a new guy, right? And that's even if you can get a truck, right? And I'm gonna tell you why. It's busy right now, right? You got moving season is busy. People are moving, whether it's moving companies renting or people renting for themselves to move themselves, right? 
you got a lot of festivals going on. Whenever you go to a festival and you look in the back lot behind the tents and behind the stages and stuff, you see rental trucks from all different companies. A lot of these sound companies, they rent trucks to move this stuff, right? A lot of these festival companies, they only work in the summer. They make so much money in the summer, they throw all that equipment in storage in the winter because they're making millions and millions of dollars. They might do two or three or four festivals and make millions and millions of dollars. They don't own any trucks. They only own equipment. They rent the trucks. They have a rental account manager. They go rent 15, 20 trucks at a time. I know this because it's been times where I needed an extra truck in the summertime and I call up my rep and they'll be like, well, no, Lollapalooza's in town. So the vendor, they got like 30 trucks of ours. We don't have any 26 footers right now, right? So the rental rates now are high because it's busy season for truck rental. Now I'm gonna give you the game. The best time to rent a truck if you wanna get a low rate is when they call you. It never fails. January and February, Penske Enterprise and Budget is blowing up my phone. Hey, Mark, you need a rental? Man, we give you a good rate. That's when you're going to get the $400 rate, $450. That's when you can talk because guess what? They got a, a lot full of trucks sitting because ain't nobody renting. It's slow. Christmas season is over with, right? It's slow. They got trucks sitting. So you can get those four four fifty rates. You can get them $0.15 cent a mile. That's when you want to go rent. I'm not saying wait to then. If you need a truck, you need a truck. But if, if you're in a situation then where you need a truck, you go get it. You want to go in then, and then you want them to put you on a three to four, four month um, price contract. Price contract. You're never obligated to keep these trucks. If you want to rent a truck and turn it in the next day, you can. They're going to be upset with you, but you're not guaranteed. But you do want to lock in your rates. They have contracts to lock in your rates. And that's what you want to do. You want to get a truck then so you can lock in those good rates. Because when the summertime comes up, they're going to go up. But if you can lock in those low rates when you can, then do it. Now, the more often you rent, the more of a relationship and a rapport you get with your account manager, then you'll get better rates. Penske does like a two-month, like a 60-day uh, price contract. Then in 60 days, they're going to look at the rate depending on how the market is. If it's busy, they might go up. If you got a good rapport with your account manager, they'll probably keep it the same. If it's in the wintertime, then you got the leverage. You can force it down. You know what I'm saying? Pricing is all about the relationship. You have to build that relationship. I built relationships so good with Enterprise. Man, it, I remember they used to, um, when my rep was closer, like, once every two months, her and two other staff members, they would drive to my office and they would bring lunch for me and my whole staff. They'd bring a Subway. That's how much money we were spending with Enterprise at one point. I was renting like five, six trucks from them long term. I think I rented like the most I had from Enterprise at one time was like nine vehicles. So I had my 12 to 15 trucks running and then I had more vehicles running from Enterprise. I had so many Enterprise vehicles. I remember one time they had um, the, um, I wanted to get a new pickup truck and they had these 2,500s. And she was like, man, I'll just rent it to you for a hundred bucks. I'll just give you my rate. Just take it, just bring it back when you're done with it. You get perks like that. When you spend money with your account manager, your, the account manager will take care of you. So pricing is all about relationship. It's all about relationship. The longer you rent, the better the relationship with the account manager, the better rates you get. Sometimes it sometimes of the year it's going to be higher, right? But you're not going to be at the highest of the high. You'll be at the lowest on the high end. So the low on the high end, right? The lowest right now, you probably be around 20 to 22 cent. You know, people that come in the door, they're paying 25 cent. I've had people tell me in coaching session they're paying 33 cent. All right, so that's the game for the rates. All right, so that's pretty much it. You know, the rental game, the rental truck game, it's, it's pretty much straightforward. It's all about relationships with your account manager and and, 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 and building that relationship, building that rapport. It, it, it's just like anything else, you know, coming into, the, coming into that, you know, you have to, they want to see how much money you're going to spend. You're not going to come in and get the best rates off the bat, but don't get ripped off either. You know what I'm saying? 
and always deal with the same account manager, right? There's no secret account managers that someone can try to sell you access to. An account manager is account manager. If I go apply at Penske or Budget tomorrow and they train me and then they put me at that front desk and when people come in, hey, how can I help you today? I wanna rent a truck. Okay, I rent you a truck. I'm your rental account manager. I'm your rental account manager. All right, if I got a rental account, I just told you who my rental account managers are, call them. You know, if you're in the local market, call them, you know. Uh, this is what they do. There's no secret on who these people are, all right. Um, and, and just continue to use the same rental account managers all the time because that's how you're gonna get the best rates. And then, like I said, January and February, it really, really, really gets slow to the point where they're cold calling, asking, hey, do you need a truck? You know what I'm saying? That's when you want to take advantage. If you are in need of a truck, then that's when you want to take advantage because that's when you have the leverage. That's when you have the leverage. Other than that, go to www.boxtruckcourses.com. Sign up for your one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. Um, hit me on Instagram. Hit me on TikTok. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. And I'm out.